What's up, y'all? I'm about to tell you about something that freaked me the fuck out. Story time. When I was 14, 15, I was sent to military school. Valley Forge Military Academy, PA. Can't talk about it a whole lot. I got an active lawsuit against them. Let's get this fucking money for what happened to me there. If you're curious what goes on there, Mother Jones has an article on it. You can check that shit out. You know, that's just an example of my parents probably wanted to help me and they saw me acting out and accidentally punished me rather than really, you know, asked me what was up and got there for me. But that's why I'm so goddamn militant, bro. Basic training, 15 years old. But um, it's not the real military. You know, I'm just a civilian with PTSD. But that's what I like to say because it's true. But um, you can tell I'm not exactly civilian minded, even if I'm a pretty average motherfucker compared to some of these freaks out here. But yeah, bro, when I was in military school, something happened that rattled me a little bit. It still freaks me out to this day. I'm going to switch the angle. My arm's a little tired. But um, yeah, so, you know, there's a friend group I was in and there was one member of that friend group who was particularly scary, man. He was a savage, he was a monster. His favorite game was you'd stand there and punch each other in the face back and forth over and over again until somebody bitched out and folded. That's his favorite fucking game. Tells you a lot about him, man. I was terrified every time I wanted to play that shit with me. But in hindsight, I wasn't the biggest bitch because I still played it with him. And to be real, I was smaller. And when he'd play it with me, I think he respected me enough. He never cracked the shit out of me, man. He could have knocked me the fuck out and he never did. So God bless him. But um, there's one time he walked up to my other friend and he fucking, boom, cracked him in the back of the head real hard. And my friend went down. And I love this, this man like a brother, bro. He's one of my best friends ever. He knows who he is. Fucking, he got cracked in the back of the head and he went down and he was just twitching on the floor like a bug, man. I thought he was fucking dying. And the way that that shit goes down, if you've ever had to deal with friends and situations like that, part of you's like, I can't do anything or he's just going to do it to me too. So, you know, I regret that I didn't even, I froze, man. I froze. So fucking, he's sitting on the floor twitching like a bug. And I'm just like, did this man just kill my friend? Luckily, he ends up getting up. He gets his breath back about him. But like, bro, when somebody does something like that, in the back of your mind, you're like, is he going to do that to me? That could just happen to me at any time. Like, that shit was scary, man. That shit was traumatizing, man. And like, I hate to say it, but he didn't come up with that. So somebody showed him how to do that and he paid it forward. But yeah, bro, that shit was terrifying, man. That's, I, I smoked a couple cigarettes about that one. But uh, yeah, man, military school story. Prometheus out.